I couldn't leave this one out. Cumberland Pass in Colorado, and although boring, it is one of the best sceneries in the state. I know I already made a video with Hancock Pass and Tent Cup Pass, but more often than not, Cumberland Pass gets left out since it is not really quote unquote technical. I decided to do a continuation of the Hancock and Tin Cup Pass loop, but focus primarily on Cumberland Pass since I ended up grabbing quite a bit of footage during the Tin Cup loop adventure ride. And to be honest, I would really hate for any footage to go to waste. Okay, so I think this is Cumberland Pass. I don't remember how long Cumberland Pass is, but I remember it being pretty long. Wow, look at that. And you can just really see the scenery out here. Woo. Got the chills just looking at it. Wow. That sure is pretty. I'm sure GoPro does absolutely no justice whatsoever. Cumberland Pass is around 12,000 feet in elevation and actually has a pretty unique history. It was constructed in 1882 to connect Tin Cup Pass with the uh, Denver South Park Railroad down by Pitkin. For the most part, this pass is wide enough for two vehicles, but be warned, there is extreme exposure down below and certain areas is just wide enough for one vehicle. Unless you're on a dirt bike, of course. You know, it's pretty crazy because yet, this continues to be one of my favorite places to go. Probably because there are two small towns in between, you can grab food, lunch, burgers, or whatever it is. Little shops here and there. So this day we ended up doing a two day trip with the KLX 250 and other OHV vehicles. And I must say, the KLX 250 did primarily well at such high elevations. Oh, it's another morning out here and uh, we decided to stay the night. I'm out with the... Uh with my buddies out here and the kids and it was a really long trail system almost 50 miles so they decided to spend the night uh, figured it's best to take it take it up the next morning we actually it turned out to be pretty awesome because we stood out at like this old mining resort uh it's called pitkin inn now or pitkin uh i don't know sleepover or something and oh man it's, it really has a lot of it, history out here this is uh originally one of the first uh mining towns i believe in colorado or the continental divide or something really awesome place this is pretty awesome because it's a uh, pump and pay i see those around too much anymore yeah, I put my oh there you go Woo. That pumps hard. All right, so, wow, look at the rivers, man. That's nice. We're on our way to uh, Hancock Pass to make our, to finish up our loop. Of course, it's the next day. So we should be nice and refreshed right now. And uh, I don't know, they were, tell they were telling us uh, Hancock Pass has gotten a lot more technical and harder over the years. And I haven't been there in like three years. Looks like we are in the right direction. 10 miles to Pitkin. 12,000 feet. Pretty cool old mine. Midway water tank. Woo! Got the scales just looking at it. We are almost here. Visual track in between them. Woo! Good news. I finally arrived in Pittston, Colorado. This is awesome to live out here. <laughs> yeah, really look at these views. Man, you just feel so small just looking at that. It was really dried out, but then again, last year we had a dry. Oh yeah, I bet that's cool. That's all from snow. All right, guys, so we're almost there to Hancock Pass. Uh, this is still not Hancock Pass. <laughs> A lot rockier than this. And this year, man, we just have so much snow just everywhere. It's just been wild. And that view is to die for, man. Sure, the trails are, are rough and everything, but this is the reason you'll get into them is for that. All right, something's up ahead, let's see. 
We made it! Hancock Pass! Well, thanks for watching guys. Again, this was Cumberland Pass, and more often than not, this pass usually gets left out. And since I ended up doing Tinkup Pass and Hancock also within this loop, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that out as this video is actually just a continuation, or you can say an addition, to the loop that I ended up doing that day. Anyways, if you guys like my content, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell button, definitely helps out my channel, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.